Okay, so um, this will be a little demo on using the bend modifier. It's going to be used in all types of ways and for all types of modeling. Um, and one of the things we're going to do is we're going to take this cylinder and we're going to scale it. But the other thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that when we use the bend modifier, that we've got plenty of subdivisions for it to deform on. So that's pretty good. Um, maybe depending on the size, you're going to just want them to be pretty close together. And one of the things you can do is you can create this into a rounded uh, surface. So um, let's just do it and then you'll see what I mean. So if you go with your object selected, go to deform and go to nonlinear and bend. Now, under your bend modifier in your attribute editor, you can deform it and you'll see this is the actual bend modifier. Now if you move this, you'll see you get all types of weird stuff happening. So you want to keep it where it is. Where it is. Um, this inverts it. You'll notice the entire thing becomes inverted. And this scales it out larger. Um, I don't think this will do anything now. Only, only on, the, on the direction in which it's bending. Now you could also rotate this so it bends and that's separate from the object. If I were to move the object, you'll notice it has to stay along that bend modifier. Um, so what you want to do is, depending, you can play around with this bend modifier and you can get it to be a full uh, tube. Or let's say you want it to be more of a hand railing with a rounded top. You can play around with the low bound and high bound. And now I've sort of got the start of a handrail. What you would do from here is, if this is the shape that you like, just do a edit, delete by type, or delete all by type because I don't have my object selected. And you'll notice that just bakes that information on there. And now that I've got that, I can now rotate it in any direction I want. And it's just like any other normal object. Um, so here I could now begin to create a really basic handrail if, if I wanted to. Something like that. Just so uh, you, you can start to brainstorm some usefulness up for this tool. There's tons of usefulness for it. Um, but just to give you an idea. So the next video is going to be on what I'll do is I'll finish this as a object but the next video is going to be to unwrap this object and what we'll do is I'll show you using a combination of the techniques we just recently used to unwrap cylinders um, we're going to expand on that and start to cut UVs and uh, sew UVs together. So um, that will be next time. And I'm just going to simply create this into a handrail. So we've learned all types of things such as uh, combining objects and now we know that they're not really combined in a closed object until we merge these vertices. So now we've got the start of a, of a handrail um, and it's one full closed object and what we'll do next is unwrap it so we can texture it really nicely. 
And that's all there is on the bend modifier.